Hello, you are your Super team from United International University welcomes you to the system acceptance review of our Rover Maven for University Rover Challenge 2022. Despite the challenges posed by COVID restrictions, our multidisciplinary team of 17 members from diverse backgrounds have been working hard remotely as well as on campus to develop Maven from absolute scratch. With the division of six subteams, the team has followed a modified Scrum methodology to develop reliable subsystems and ensure modularity. We also evaluated truly in competition-like environments to achieve the necessary readiness for ERC 2022. Rocker body suspension with a four bevel gear mesh differential mechanism has been implemented to observe both anterior and rear impact. We conducted a finite element analysis to check the stability of our chassis subsystem using ACE adaptivity meshing topology. The robot has been developed with the improved maneuver capability that include complete horizontal movement and rotational accuracy on the spot. To evaluate the robot for the extreme retrieval and delivery mission, we have designed multiple courses that include strain and objects similar to what we expect to see in the competition, such as going up a steep incline, traversing over brick rocks, grassy fields and sand surfaces, rocky areas, steep incline and vertical drops. The arm of the robot is also capable of quick and easy manipulation of both heavy and light objects like throwing and lifting a 7 kg payload with rope picking up a small object such as screwdriver, hammer, various shapes and props. 6 degree of freedom arm is capable of opening a drawer and inserting a cache on it. Moreover, it has gained the capability to perform sophisticated tasks like inserting a USB drive, handling a electrical socket, push button, flip switch, turning a knob, typing on a keyboard and tightening of a screw. The in-house cyclodal transmission along with a semi-differential wrist mechanism have increased effective precision and reduced the overall mass of the arm. Our in defector is capable of grabbing objects of various mass and geometrical shapes successfully with strength and precision. The arm has been evaluated thoroughly on a configurable lander to achieve competition readiness in the equipment servicing mission. The autonomous navigation system has been developed with the help of robotic operation systems ROS, running on NVIDIA Jetson NX by involving computer vision and GPS data. The rover makes strategic planning decisions to traverse GPS waypoints using customized SLAM algorithm. Localization of the body alongside the global and local planner has been implemented using generated cloud points of depth sensing camera to traverse the objective. GPS accuracy has been rigorously tested and extended Kalman filter has been implemented to filter the integrate the sensor data. Maven can successfully identify the IDs and distances of air tags relative to the rover and can determine the directionality and the center of the gate. Using carrot navigation approach, Maven can align itself between the post and pass through the gates in the correct direction. We have developed test courses that imitate the actual autonomous mission and evaluate performance of the developed algorithm. We built a 6 series high density lithium ion battery pack using 1850 cells to provide 24 volts to the rover and a 120 minute operational time frame. Enhanced modularity is implemented using various custom PCBs which is designed and simulated the real time electrical wiring of the rover. The electronic subsystems focus on the integration of the core electronics and embedded systems. Moreover, our custom power distribution board also prevents issues such as mismatched battery voltage and subsystem level shorts. A kill switch has been provided for the emergency job of the rover. Maybe with 2.4 GHz radio and linearly polarized antennas. The radio communicates with 3 meter base station antenna from up to 3 kilometers away. A combination of omnidirectional and directional antennas in the base station transmits a wide range of network sense which is being received by the omnidirectional antennas on the rover's body. To facilitate with the rover's operation, rover activities are being monitored from various angular perspectives using four high resolution cameras and transmitted to the base station with low latency. With an ease to use interface, all available feedbacks and data from the rover can be viewed concurrently with alternative controls in the developed dipole of Maven. We developed a scientific exploration subsystem that involves a 3 DOF secondary manipulator and analysis chamber to categorize any soil and rock sample into extent, extent, or no presence of life. Mesh up multiple end effectors and a circular scope motion can effectively collect up to four soil samples, preventing any cross contamination alongside the UV lights in the funnel. The samples are easily deposited into three isolated beakers for the detection of biomolecules with chemical test, which involves protein using Nienhagen solution, lipid using Sudan 3 solution, and carbohydrate using Benedict solution. Qualitative color changes are observed through a camera, and the results are then streamed back to the base station for immediate evaluation and feedback as input to our algorithm, classifying the sample into extent, extent and no presence of life. USB microscope feedback along with the presence of MBUC sensors have been used to detect whether a rock sample is extant. We also developed a pipeline of multiple binary classifiers to effectively classify rock sample without any physical contact. The outcomes of the sensor, feedback and model prediction have been used to classify a rock sample. A full mock test has been conducted to evaluate the performance of the sample acquisition and analysis process. 
We maintain the strict timeline to finish early integration to quickly revise the design. It has been possible for the modular designs of the subsystem development board to ensure parallel unit testing of the core rover subsystems. We conducted a complete system verification through regression testing and emphasized mock missions and operator practice to develop a robust competition strategy. Several resources such as mock lenders, simulated Mars Earth has allowed testing the rover in URC like conditions. Additionally, low latency command and video transmission along with effective structural freedom help the operator to precisely control the rover. We are content with our ongoing progress and confident to demonstrate the capability of Maven to succeed in URC 2020. Thank you for your consideration on behalf of the EYU Mars Rover team.